the different processes that are happening in absorption refrigeration systems so uh, the most basic absorption refrigeration system is ammonia absorption refrigeration system in ammonia refrigeration system ammonia is serve, serving as refrigerant so ammonia is a refrigerant and water is acting as a transport medium so on the right side of this line dotted line uh, this is the main difference between the vapor compression cycle and vapor absorption cycle and these are the devices which are same in both cycles so these uh, components are same so compressor is uh, replaced by absorber pump expansion valve regenerator rectifier and a generator and uh, at the start of the cycle a liquid is compressed instead of a vapor this means at this point pump pump is increasing the pressure of liquid so it is basically pump is used for liquid and compressor is used for vapors so we need lesser energy to compress a liquid as compared to compressing a vapor pure ammonia which is coming out of the evaporator is absorbed this absorber is used to absorb ammonia into water and this is a exothermic reaction when ammonia is absorbed in the water heat is released and we need to cool down this solution by cooling water circulation you can see here that cooling water is circulated through these coils this is done to reduce the temperature of this solution as we reduce the temperature of this solution the more amount of ammonia is absorbed so function of an absorber is to absorb ammonia vapors into water so now ammonia and water mixture is pumped through this pump and during this process it is passed through regenerator regenerator function is to transfer heat between these two streams this is the ammonia water mixture which is at low temperature temperature is low here and there is high temperature on the other stream on the other head on the other side there is high temperature so temperature heat is transferred from higher temperature side to lower temperature side in the regenerator rich ammonia and water mixture is absorbed heat from the high temperature stream which is low in uh, low in ammonia concentration the function of a generator is to provide heat to ammonia and water mixture this source of heat can be solar or based heat or any or any fuel burn to provide this heat so when we provide heat to this generator it will evaporate the ammonia from the water and vapors of ammonia will be passed through rectifier the function of rectifier is to uh, eliminate any uh, water droplets in the 
ammonia vapors so pure ammonia is passed through condenser so ammonia vapors are now converted into liquid uh, in the condenser by cooling it down and this process is done at constant pressure after passing through the condenser the uh, ammonia is now in the liquid form and it is it, is, it, it was at high pressure and temperature and then when it is passed through expansion valve its pressure is dropped and after dropping the pressure the boiling point of ammonia is also reduced and during the evaporation process the heat is absorbed after passing through the expansion valve uh, the ammonia mixtures uh, ammonia vapor and liquid mixture is passed through a evaporator in the evaporator heat is absorbed from the refrigerated space and cooling is produced and after passing through the evaporator the ammonia is completely converted into vapor form then rest of the process is again started